Hello everyone, my name is Jadip Bhadra. I'm here today to briefly introduce myself and my PhD research to you. So let's begin with who I am and why I chose RB. I am a doctoral researcher in the Center for Doctoral Training in Energy Resilience and the Built Environment, or known as RB, in the School of Architecture, Building and Civil Engineering at Lokro University. By education, I have a B.Tech in Architectural Engineering and M.Tech in Building Energy Performance from India. I have six years of experience working in consultancy and research projects related to building energy and policy advocacy. My area of interest are thermal comfort and building energy efficiency. And my hobbies include cooking, painting, watching cricket, and exploring new places. So why RB? First is the vision, which is very much aligned to my career goals, which is to drive energy transition and help communities. It helps to build skills that are needed for future ready leaders and expose us to vast network of academia and industry partners. Some of the benefits that I have experienced so far are the multidisciplinary approach to energy research, funding opportunities, and the taught courses, which really help to pave path for the PhD research. So far, I have enjoyed the collaborative learning with peers and experts across different institutions. And the most valuable factor has been the culture of open research. Let me now give a brief context of my PhD research. On the left, it is a graph showing the summer mean maximum temperature for 2050 in the UK. It shows that under medium emission scenario, the temperatures are likely to increase by three to four degrees under 50% probability, and up to six to seven degrees under 90% probability. In fact, today when I'm recording this presentation, the outside temperature was 29 degrees Celsius in Lovetro, which is highest in recent times for the month of September. How does that impact? Currently, there are nearly 2,000 deaths related to heat waves, which is estimated to go up by 2.5 times by 2080. And the cooling degree days, which is around 50 currently, is likely to rise by 3.5 times up to 175, meaning more overheated homes and rising cooling demand. This has many cascading effects, such as negative impact on health and well-being, stress due to uncomfortable and warm indoors, rising electricity bill, disruption to sleep, low productivity at work, and all these are more profound on vulnerable section of our community. With rising temperatures, it's timely to understand the relationship between thermal comfort and its effect on sleep. One of the question that remains is how the bed microclimate or ambient conditions around body impact sleep. And is there any device which can improve sleep quality with low energy? So my aim is to use a personal comfort system, in this case, a cooling bed, to explore and understand the complex relationship between thermal comfort and sleep quality, as well as how energy efficient the cooling beds can be compared to the use of conventional room air conditioners. So the title of my PhD research is Evaluation of Cooling Beds for Thermal Comfort, Sleep Quality, and Energy Savings in UK Homes. I plan to test two hypotheses in this study. First, cooling beds improve sleep quality while providing a desired thermal comfort condition for sleeping. And second, cooling beds are energy efficient and cost effective compared to a room air conditioner. My supervisors are Dr. Arish Bez and Professor Kevin Lamas from Lovecro University. So far, I have developed an initial research plan, collaborated with few industry partners, and conducted a small spile study. Moving ahead, the plan is to do a systematic literature review, refine the research design and survey methods, and to do a pilot study on field. Later, experiments will be conducted to measure and collect field data followed by analysis and reporting. Going ahead, I foresee few challenges, considering the complex nature of sleep science and conducting field experiments in homes as the risk of COVID-19 remains. I'm also looking to build a strong collaboration with partners. I'm keen to collaborate with industry partners who can provide me with cooling beds and other support. I'm also keen to meet and speak to any experts in areas like sleep research who would be keen to get involved and take interest in my research. So if you are interested or know anyone who might be, please contact me. Thank you.